Hi, it's 10. It's set 8 and it's Monday. Let's rock. I mean, that maths, that's maths. Yeah. Okay, you've got five minutes. Remember, have a go at every question, even if you're not sure. Just have a go. Write some stuff down and then mark it against my solutions in five minutes' time because your five minutes starts now.
seconds to go. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The blast off. Let's go. Let's get rid of that clock. Right, fully simplify root 80. So remember, we're trying to find a square number hidden inside here. Uh, you could do this in a couple of steps, but you possibly might notice that, um, I'm just gonna double check, but I think 16 is hidden in there. Hello. It is a 5 sixteenths, make 80. So I can do 16 times by five. Now remember with our simplifying, Bye. simplifying um, thirds, we can separate them out into separate square roots. So we've got um, four root five, because you can put this root 16 as a separate square root. That you can actually square root. That's why we're trying to find those square numbers hidden inside them. All right, this one. So I'm gonna simplify both first, because I can't just add them together as it is. Uh, 27 is the same as um, three times nine, isn't it? Now nine is a square number. So I'll put nine times three, and 12 is the same as four times by three. Notice both of these are a square number times by three. So the first one, if I do this, well, let's write it out in full. I can do square root of nine times by square root of three plus the square root of four times by the square root of three. Well, that would be three root three plus two root three which is a total of five root three. Yep. Rationalize the denominator. That means get rid of the square root in the denominator of the fraction. And we times the top and the bottom by the same amount. And I'm gonna times it by root three. Now you could times it by two root three, the whole of that bottom, but you don't actually need to. You will get the same effect just by timesing it by the square root. Now one times root three is root three. 2 times root 3 times root 3. Well, the two root 3s together uh, multiply to make 3. So I've now got 2 times by 3. So that's now root 3 over 6. Cool. Expand and simplify. So this is a set of double brackets. So, you know, lots of people like to use foil. I do that, but I kind of just put the arrows on, really. Root 7 times 7 is seven, so that's the first. Then we've got outers, so root seven times by negative three. Well, that's negative three lots of root seven. Then I've got inners, I've got two lots of root seven. And then last, two times negative three is negative six. Simplify that together. Seven take away six is one, minus three lots of root seven plus two lots of root seven gets minus one lot of root seven. It wouldn't be the end of the world if you put one root seven, but you don't need to. It's just like with one X, we just write X. So one take away root seven is fine or equivalent. Rationalize the denominator of this one. This one's slightly harder because I've got two elements to the bottom of this. Now I know we did here, but they were multiplied. That's different. Here, they're just subtracted. So what I'm gonna times it by is what we call the conjugate of this. It's the same thing, the root three and the four, but we change the sign from being negative to being positive. And I'll times the top by the same thing. I'll times it by root three plus four. It helps to think of this as being inside a bracket as a, as a unit, because then I've got double brackets on the bottom that need multiplying out. Now the top's nice and easy because it's just one times that. So that will be root three plus four. The bottom we need to foil. Root three times root three is three. That's first. Outers, my negative, uh, sorry, root three times four, oops, is four root three. It doesn't actually matter what order you do it in really, as long as you do it all. And then minus four times by root three is minus four lots of root three. Notice that these are plus four and minus four, so they will cancel out. And then minus four times by four is negative 16. Simplify that a bit. The top is root three plus four. The bottom is, well, those two things cancel out, the two lots of root three. And I've got three takeaways, 16, which is negative uh, 13. 
but we wouldn't usually leave the negative underneath. I would either just put the negative in front of the whole thing or possibly put brackets around the top and put a negative on there. But I would do negative root three plus four. I'm putting the negative in front of the whole fraction like that. Okay, cool. Uh, right, move on to the main task now. Uh, yeah, off you go. <laughs> I don't know why I got a bit confused there. We finished. Bye-bye.